This is your KCTV 5 News Flash Briefing. The president and others have touted hydroxychloroquine as a potential treatment for the coronavirus for weeks now, saying we have nothing to lose and trying. So now researchers at KU Med are going to put that drug to the test, joining a nationwide trial of it involving medical workers. And we know that protective gear works. We know that protective equipment works, but we don't know if a medication would help us uh, protect us. The study is being called the Healthcare Worker Exposure Response and Outcomes, or HERO for short. If you are a healthcare worker and you're interested in participating in this study, you can find a link to apply to it in our Found It on 5 section at KCTV5.com. With many unable to work now, the state of Kansas is seeing thousands of new unemployment claims, and the state's 43-year-old mainframe computer is struggling to keep up with it all. The Kansas unemployment website crashed several times last night and again this morning due to the high volume. And the telephone lines have been jammed, too. Last week alone, Kansas received 50,000 new unemployment claims. Amid this pandemic, a 93-year-old Pennsylvania woman says her supplies are also running low. We're talking about her supply of beer. This is Olive we're talking about, and she loves her brew. I have a beer every night. I got something in there now. Do you want one? Something to relax, you know. I think it's nice. Something, something for a young lady. That's right. I mean, she is a young lady and adorable, too. Like so many, she's been stuck at home, unable to get to the store and replenish her supplies. So she went viral last week. Her son posted this picture of her asking neighbors for help. And now guess what? Coors Brewing has stepped up, sending her some free beers. I'm Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with your midday weather update. On this Monday, we started out pretty cold, temperatures below freezing, but now above freezing through the majority of the afternoon. In fact, I think we'll see a mixture of sun and clouds as we head through about 1, 2 o'clock. And then by the 4 o'clock hour, I'm expecting at least temperatures to be warming closer to the middle 40s. Something's wrong with my click. Now it works. Ah, oh, that was my fault. Thought I was ready. Clearly I wasn't. All right, 3, 2, 1. I'm Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with your midday weather update. After a very cold start this Monday morning, temperatures rebounding just a little bit. I think we'll still stay below average for this time of year, but eventually warming above freezing for everyone as we head further and further into the afternoon. Stopping right around 46 degrees for your high temperatures today under partly sunny skies and then clouds begin to thicken as we head through the evening hours, which will at least stall the temperatures a little bit from falling too quickly tonight. However, once we get into the 30s by 10 o'clock, I do believe those temperatures dip back below freezing when you wake up on Tuesday. Have a good one. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing because KCTV 5 News stands for you.